what's going on you guys so I haven't done a lifting video yet um, there's kind of a reason for that I just haven't had the time and uh, I had to get some of my strength back up but uh, there was this guy he was trying to call me weak or whatever and he was trying to claim that some guy because I wasn't as big as him I couldn't criticize that guy's form which is just a logically fallacious argument but anyway um the guy just doesn't seem to realize that size doesn't really equal strength um all the time and that you can actually not be the biggest guy but you can still have some power uh to lift heavy things but uh so i'm going to show that right now I'm going to try to do about four or five reps uh, per arm of this 52 pound dumbbell. Um, if you look carefully, you'll see it says five pounds on the dumbbell. See right there? There are two of those per side. And there's these smaller three pounds. There's two of those. So that's 10 pounds. Plus 12 is 22, and there's three 2.5 pound plates in here as well, so that's 27.5 pounds per side, right? Let's see, hang on. No, that isn't right. Let's see. No, 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 my math's way off. Forgive me for that. Um, there's 10 pounds here, 6 pounds here, so that's 16 pounds plus seven and a half pounds. So it's 23 and a half pounds per side. And then we got a five pound bar here. So if you do the math, 23.5 times two is 47 pounds plus a five pound bar is 52 pounds. And I should be able to do it with decent form. Um, and that's all I was trying to tell uh, this guy that was just blatantly calling me, uh, do you even lift guy or whatever but it's just funny how some people just just don't have anything to show for themselves like they don't have any videos or any photos of their physique and they seem to think that because you don't have the biggest physique that you just can't lift heavy you just that's just it's ridiculous I mean there's some truth to it in certain regards but it, it's not a stop it's not a direct science so uh just look at bruce lee real small guy but super powerful anyway uh i'm gonna do this 52 and a half pound dumbbell and we'll see what we can do <sighs> try to keep the form as good as possible one two three one one, two, three, okay, so I only got three, that's okay, it's 52 and a half, or it's 52 pounds, so I did a bunch of it yesterday, so my arms are probably still tired from that. Point is, I still did it. You probably wouldn't expect somebody my size to be able to get it up even once. So that just debunks this whole argument that dudes that are smaller can't lift heavy. Now let's try with the right and see what we get. Like I said, it's still 52 pounds. And the guy who I was criticizing, he was lifting his elbow up like that. You're gonna see that with mine. You might see a little bit of elbow movement, but that's natural. Like, you're gonna have a little bit. But he was pulling so much of his shoulder into the lift, going all the way up there. And 
it's just not a good point. And I don't care. This guy can say that I shouldn't be able to critique his form because of my size, but that's just, as I've proven, ridiculous. Uh, am I the strongest guy in the world? No. If I were bigger, could I lift more? Yeah, probably. Uh, almost undoubtedly. But more than I can lift now. So just because you're smaller doesn't mean that you can't lift. And I'm not that small. Like my arms, they're not as impressive as I would like them. But these are actually close to 15 inches or more. So 14 and 3 quarters inches flex. Do I want to be bigger? Yeah. That's why I hired a personal trainer. Um, because I'm going to actually try to become pro. Like, or amateur, whatever. Uh, but I would think with enough hard work, I could probably become a pro bodybuilder. He told me I've got the shape for it. That probably's already locked into a contract with him, so it's not like he's getting any extra money uh, by telling me that. Like, he, he could give a crap if I decide to keep on doing it or not. You know, he still gets the money. If I don't show up, he still gets the money. So, let's go down and wait. Let's see how many reps I can get of these, uh, these at 47 pounds each. Uh, one. So I'll take five pounds off, two and a half of these, or whatever. Let's just see if I can crank out about six, seven reps of that. And that's pretty dang close to 50 pounds. So if I can get about seven reps of this, 47 pounds per arm, that means I should be able to do about at least five. 50 pounds with good form so here's the 47 still a little tired so it might affect my ability a little bit but we'll we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it I guess all right so here's 47 pounds ready go one two Four, five, six. So that's six for the right. Let's see if I can do six for the left. And like I said, if I was started out with 47 pounds stuck in those 52s, Probably could have done about eight. But that's okay. Because I don't really care to power lift. I'm not trying to be a power lifter. Would I like to be so strong? Yeah, of course. Would it be great to be able to throw a 100 pound dumbbell someday with one arm? Yeah, that's not my goal. My goal is to bodybuild. And Strength. Bodybuilders are still strong. They're just not as strong as a power lifter. Because power lifters aren't really going for muscular size. Now, the extra fat and muscle that they have on them definitely allows them to lift more. But for somebody who's bodybuilding, size does not necessarily equal strength. So Here's the 47 for the left arm. Go here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six.
that's seven reps for the left arm, which surprised me a little bit. Um, my left arm is supposed to be considerably weaker than my right. But like I said, I did this yesterday. I was going to make a video for y'all about it yesterday, but my fan was running during the video and I had to cut it out. So, as said, don't let anyone tell you that you, because you're smaller, that you can't be strong. Even now, I may not be the biggest guy, but surely you can see my shoulders coming in. Surely you can see muscle definition here. Like, he can pick on me all he wants. But the truth remains that I know what I can do. I know what I'm going to push myself to do. I know how hard I push myself when my personal trainer's there training me. And I know how hard I go when he's not there. And I'm very hard on myself. So, just don't let people discourage you. That's the main message here that I want to get across. People are going to hate and say that you can, just because you're not big, it means that you can't contribute uh, facts to a bodybuilding or a powerlifting discussion. And it's just not true. So don't listen to them. Just keep doing you. Ignore the haters. And you'll get to your goal as long as you keep going as long as you keep staying persistent that's what i'm gonna do i'm not giving up and like i said i'm gonna keep monitoring my progress with you guys and uh to heck who doesn't like it with that said hope you all enjoyed the video and i'll catch you later